my name's Diane Cummins. Um, I was a classroom teacher for 15 years. I've been in education for a total of 25 years. I taught um, English, secondary, um, every grade from 7 through 12 with the exception of 10. Well, I think I motivated my kids to learn because I always tried to think of myself sitting in their seat. And of course, teachers typically tend to teach what they loved as a student, but that doesn't mean that the kids who sit in their class do that. So I always tried to find a way to make a kid love something that we were doing and, and personalize it. Because I feel like if you can't provide a context for what it is and why you need to know it, then they don't want to know it. So I typically would start class, and I taught a lot of classic literature. You know, I taught Macbeth and Chaucer and Beowulf, and you know, so and people would say to me, "How do you get a kid to like that?" I said, "Because I would have to dig into it and say, what is it about this that why it's still here? Why is it timeless? Why are the ideas here? You know, it doesn't matter how it crosses generations; that it's still relevant." So I would dig those things out, and that's how I worked to reach the kids because. I knew that a kid would want to know about the relationships between people and the dysfunctional relationships between people and people's greed and jealousy and all the emotions that we still, you know, feel and face hundreds and hundreds of years after these people wrote it. That's the crux and the core of why kids want to learn those things because then you can start to show a pattern of people's behaviors and it is ultimately, it's not about the content that they learn, it's really about the strategies and the skills and how they understand how to put that all together in order to kind of create some kind of meaning for themselves. But having spent the best part of my career as an English teacher, I was absolutely exhilarated, I can't even think of another word, to see the Common Core, especially for, the, uh, for ELA, because of the fact that now it wasn't just the English teacher's responsibility to, to teach those standards. And historically, you know, it was, okay, you're the English teacher, you're in the box, you're the one who's responsible to teach them that, I teach this and that. So when there were standards for social studies, career and technical subjects, and science, it was like, wow, you know what? I know it sounds so cliche, you know, the old, it takes a village, but it takes a school to promote literacy. But other content area teachers are nervous but I'm seeing the, a collaboration I didn't see before because all of a sudden now, it used to be like, what do I need to know? You know, How am I supposed to teach reading? How am I supposed to teach writing? Now they're coming to English teachers saying, how do I teach writing? How do I teach reading? Help me with that. And then at the, on the flip side of that, the English teachers are saying, help me out with informational text because I don't necessarily do that. And I don't, we don't read for stamina and our kids don't read long enough and there's not enough grit in here for us to really dig down hard. How do we replicate the types of things that the core is asking us? Where's the sophisticated text that they should be reading? Is it rigorous enough? So the conversations are ones that we haven't had, but it's really energizing our schools. Not necessarily, you know, people like jumped up and down, but I think when they started to really look at it, the focus became important about, you know, what are we teaching kids to do? And what will make them literate to be able to go to higher ed, um, careers after high school, and to ultimately make them productive citizens.